Let's do another one of these uh, calculate pH of the equilibrium problem. So this one says calculate the pH um, for the following solution, a 0 0.10 molar ammonia solution. And uh, we went and looked up the KB on the KB table that we had in our book, and it ended up being 1.8 times 10 to the negative 2, okay? So in order to do these particular problems, you're going to have to write up a nice table first, okay? So in order to do that, you have to figure out, well, what's the balanced chemical equation, okay? And the other thing you want to think about is, well, we're looking for the pH, right? So we're going to look for something that gives us a change in pH value, like an H3O plus or OH minus, okay? So let's write down the chemical equation. NH3 aqueous plus water, okay, plus water, liquid, goes back and forth to the ammonium ion plus OH minus aqueous. And that's where we're going to look for our uh, pH with. So, this is a balanced chemical equation. If it wasn't, you'd have to balance it, of course. Okay, so let's do this. I, C, E. Remember with liquids, just cancel them out. It gave us the initial concentration of ammonia, 0 0.10. We didn't add any ammonium ion or any hydroxide ions. So we're going to subtract X from that. Remember, in this case, we're going to be using our 5% um, rule, so we'll get rid of that X there. We're going to add X here and add X here. It's going to give us X and X, like that. Does that make sense as far as we've gone? Tamika, you got this one? That makes sense to you? Okay, wonderful. So remember, what did I just say? We're going to use the 5% rule, and you can check this later. I'll let you do that on your own. So we're going to effectively say that this, because the KB is so small, not very much dissociated, okay? So we're going to just erase this X there, okay? Minus X. So that reduces our KB equation. So let's solve our, write out our KB equation. So just like anything else, it's going to be the products raised to their coefficients divided by the reactants raised to their coefficients, right? So what have we got? Concentration of the ammonium ion times the concentration of hydroxide ion divided by the concentration of ammonia, okay? So is everybody set with that one? So now let's just plug in our numbers, okay? So, well, this, right, this is x and this is x, right? So we're going to actually be solving for x squared is what we'll be doing, okay? But let's just plug in our numbers. So we'll rewrite this equation to say um, 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth equals x times x divided by 0 0.10, like that, okay? So now we're just going to algebraically manipulate this equation. Get your calculators out so we can do this all together. Can we get a pen that starts writing a little darker, hopefully? Hopefully I picked the right one. So let's rearrange this equation to solve for x. So what are we going to get? We're going to get x squared equals 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth times 0 0.10, like that. Okay. So that means that x equals the square root of 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth times 0 0.10. Does 
Does that make sense there? Okay, so let's just do that together. Okay, so the concentration of X is going to be 1.3 times 10 to the negative 3 molar, like that. Okay. So remember, X is equivalent to the OH minus concentration, okay? And that's where we get um, the pH from. Okay, so is everybody set with what we've got here? So let's just say we've got 1.3 times 10 to the negative third molar OH, like that. Okay? So I'm going to erase the top of this here so we can use that space to figure out the rest. Okay, so remember uh, KW equals uh, the hydronium ion concentration times the hydroxide concentration, like that. Okay, KW is going to be given to you 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 pollux. So we could figure out from this the hydronium ion concentration, right? So we just say the hydronium ion concentration equals Kw divided by the concentration of OH minus. Like that. Does that make sense? Okay. So what do we got? 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 1.3 times 10 to the negative third, like that. So, 1, e, negative 14 divided by second answer, and I get 7.5 times 10 to the negative 12 molar. Okay, so that's hydronium ions, and we would expect that to be very small because this one's relatively large, okay? And they're going to be inverses of each other, okay? So from that, we should be able to figure out the pH, right? Because the pH, remember, is what? Can you help me out? What's the 14. pH? Negative log of the... Come on, guys. Hydronium ion concentration. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy when you write it out. Okay. Okay. So what's it going to be? So we could say the negative log times 7.5 times 10 to the negative 12. Like right that. So the negative log of that answer. And as you would expect it to be, right, it's a very high number, okay? Why? Because we have a, a weak base. We're putting a weak base, right? We would expect it to be over 7, right? And it is. It's 11.13 is your pH. Okay? Does everybody understand why it should be, like, just qualitatively higher than 7, right? Any questions on this one? Well, can you actually do it like by giving the the POH? POH yeah, you can do it that. 14? I just like to do it this way because this is the way I first learned how to do it. You know, okay. so I just keep doing it that way. But yeah, you could get the POH from here. Say yeah. the negative log of the yeah. uh, OH concentration, and then subtract that from 14, 14. and, and then you, you should the get the same right? answer. Did you get the same answer? Did you do uh, it I that way? It all the way? Okay, well, I'll bet you'll get the same answer. Yeah.
Any questions? Wonderful.